Just got back with the fuel in that can. I wrote diesel really huge on it last year when we got the Duramax. But I stumbled here, dropped the can right on top of this old fire extinguisher. Check it out. I should have had the camera rolling. I know I should have. Looks like we're going to need a new one of those. Hey everybody, it's Marvin from Wiscoat. Uh, today, we're gonna take the old battery uh, off the Craftco Easy Pour machine. Um, when I bought this, it had been sitting for a couple years. I tried charging the battery yesterday and uh, didn't have any dice. It just is not gonna take a charge. So we're gonna take that out and replace that. I'll kinda show you where that is. Right here on the machine. So we're gonna take that out. And then the second thing we're going to do, let me open this, is change this fuel filter out right here. So I think those are the two main things that we're going to have to do to fire this thing up and see what happens. So here we go. Does anybody else's tools look like this? So the fuel lines are stuck on there pretty good. I'm going to try to not break them. So they don't look like they're dry rotted real bad. So. I'll try to peel them off here with a pair of pliers and be gentle, but it looks like there's enough slack that if I do break them, we can slice it and just add it on. So that might be the route I end up going. So this is it. Um, still got a little bit of diesel in it, um, but it looks to me like it's Fram. So this is an Isuzu motor on this, I noticed. So uh, what I'm going to try to do is go to a store here locally, get the battery, and just try to get an Isuzu diesel um, fuel filter and just take it with. Hopefully it matches up pretty decently and it's the right one. Uh, so, then I bring it back, put the battery on, put the fuel filter on, um, maybe add a little bit of new diesel to it, because uh, as you know, it's been sitting. So, we're going to do that, and then we'll be back, put it on, and maybe fire it up today, who knows. So, I know you can't see my face, but... I went from a top post to a side post just because they didn't have a big enough top post uh, in the brand that I wanted. Obviously, we're going to just try to get this thing going. It's not like it's a super awesome brand, but I need these bolts so that we can attach the power cords to the battery. So now that we got the battery hooked up, which took forever, um, we're going to go to the other side and put in the fuel filter. So one thing I should probably say, this is the old one, and this is the new one. So this is an Isuzu diesel motor in here, and they had a hard time matching at the parts house, as you can see. It's a little bit different, pretty similar but a little bit different. This one's a little bit thicker and was made for diesel, so this is the one we're gonna use. All 
All right, so it's in. I'm gonna grab some diesel, put some fresh fuel in it. We'll see what happens. All right, let's light this thing up and see what happens. So obviously it's not working. I think the battery is smoking. We might have to delay this until tomorrow. All right, so if it's windy, I'm sorry once again into the microphone. But last night uh, in the dark, uh, a friend of mine who's a diesel tech came over and uh, we got the fuel up to the glow plugs. The glow plugs looked like they were firing all right. And sure enough, this thing popped over. So. We, uh, we started it up and then we started the uh, torch up and it started to heat so we ran out of ran out of night I guess and, and time so it didn't get to heat to its full potential but I'm gonna pop this thing over you guys can see that the hard work finally paid off here it really needs an oil change I bought the oil change uh, but I'm not gonna do it today we have an event later so I can't get too filthy I guess so that's what's up I'll show you guys how it goes down Let me get away from it a little bit so you can hear me. Last night when we heated it up, the back chamber where the hoses were heated really fast. And uh, from what I hear, you don't want to get that over 300. And it got to 300 very quick. So uh, I'm opening the doors back there to kind of let some of the heat out as the, ro the oil and then the rubber material heats up on the inside. All right, so this thing's been heating off and on for two hours now. Motors ran fine, everything went fine. It's recirculating just fine the agitator is moving just fine the materials up to 400 degrees the oils well the materials at about 375 400 the material the oil is at oh roughly 450 to 500 and uh, I'm running into one only issue and that's regulating this back encased area that gauge right there uh, there's warning labels all over it says don't let it get above 350 degrees in there it could cause damage to the hose will cause damage to the hose but I've been keeping it right around there and I can't it doesn't seem to get hot enough to come out of that hose so I'm gonna mess around with it a little bit but other than that the machine's going good I actually had to heat this valve up to get anything to come out but the Craftco easy pour 200 with a three-cylinder Isuzu diesel motor is running and going. So besides a few little things here and there that I need to learn about, I 
I think we got this thing moving and doing what it's supposed to do. So thanks for watching the video. Please share, subscribe, comment, and interact. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. All right, so I know you thought the video was over, right? I said my goodbyes. But I came back out, the machine's shut down now. Um, I came back out after I put my camera up and was gonna give it one more shot on the hose. Well, there it is. So, the hose actually ended up working good. I just came back out and it needed a little bit more of a push and it made a big pop and then rubber came out. So, machine's up, working fine. I'm glad you stuck past the ending of the video and found this. Almost kind of makes it feel like a, a Marvel movie or something, you know? Like, I don't know, not Captain America, but Black Panther, something like that. We'll talk to you guys later.